Hello everyone and welcome to today's Coaching Through Cancellation video with the Marist College men's lacrosse staff. My name is Keegan Wilkinson. I'm the head men's lacrosse coach at Marist and I'll be joined today by our defensive coordinator, Dave Scarcello, on today's video. Today we will be introducing to you a drill we call Breaks and Fires. It is one of our favorite drills for attempting to perfect transition play with our team. The concept of this drill is to give your team a high number of repetitions of both 4-on-3 fast break and 4-on-4 fire situations while playing in a full field setting. To properly run the drill, you will need to divide your team into two even squads. In our film, you will see them in a red versus white setting. You will also need two ball buckets, two goals. Each co coach should have a whistle ready. And to run the drill effectively, your players will need to be organized and communicating at a high level. This is a transition drill that will help your players on both sides of the ball read and react to different transition scenarios that they might see in a game setting. The drill will start with a whistle from the coach that will release an offensive player in transition. He will receive a pass to begin his run up the field. On the coach's second whistle, a defensive player will be released to sprint back on defense. By varying the speed of the whistles, the coach will determine what kind of scenario the team will play out of. If the coach holds the second whistle a bit longer, it will lead to a fast break opportunity, whereas if he blows the second whistle quickly, it will release that defender earlier, creating a four-on-four -four situation. This will require both the attack and defense to have their eyes upfield, ready to recognize the situation, communicate, and adapt on the fly to how they will be effective in each repetition of the drill. This next slide gives you a clear outline of how the field will be set up for the drill. You will need to have attack, defense, and goalies on each end of the field. The midfielders will be split up in half. This includes all offensive midfielders, short stick defensive midfielders, long stick midfielders, and face-off personnel. Half of the midfielders are offset in the corner of the restraining box, and, are, and that's the group that will be coming down offensively. In the middle of the field is the other half of the midfield group, and they will form two lines serving as a group that will get back and transition defensively. Coaches are about halfway between the goal line and the restraining line with the bucket of balls ready to inbound the ball to start the drill. As you'll notice in our film, this could also be an extra goalie that is waiting to be subbed into the drill, allowing him to get additional repetitions of outlet passes. Here we're going to show you how the drill functions in a live practice setting. As you can see, the coach will inlet the ball on the first whistle to the midfielder starting transition. The second whistle releases that midfielder on the inside, creating a four-on-four -four opportunity for both teams. A shot and a goal forces the goalie on the other side of the field to throw the ball in, and the second whistle again releases the inside line, again forcing a four-on-four -four situation for White coming down on offense versus a red defense. As this player sweeps across the top, shoots, and the goalie makes a save, the goalie will inlet the ball as opposed to the coach, keeping the drill flowing and getting them reps of passing out in transition. Number two comes down in transition with the midfielder on the inside releasing on the second whistle. This was a fast break opportunity. With the goalie making a save, he again throws the outlet and the coaches need to be ready to blow the whistles. And now we're going to let the play resume with no telestration or voice overlay so you can see how the drill works and listen to the players and coaches communicate throughout the drill. Breaking down the things that make for a perfect rep on a fast break in this drill comes down to a few things. First and most importantly is spacing. 
you want to make sure that your point man is wide enough and slightly outside of A2 in this situation to create an easy pass down as a defense is forced to rotate. We also want to be nice and deep to start creating longer rotations for the defense. The longer the rotations are, the bigger our skip lanes will be for our offensive players and our point attackmen. Secondly, we need to make sure that A1 in this situation, or our point guy, he is the quarterback and the communicator of the offense. He's responsible for recognizing which situation is coming down and how they're going to handle it in transition. Everyone on the field must hear this player talking, so it's very important to emphasize that your quarterback or your point attackman needs to be loud and concise in his talk. He has two different reads he can make here, a draw call versus an early call. We prefer to call earlies with talented offensive players coming down in transition, preferably if they're left-handed, because they'll be receiving the ball a lot of the time to their dominant hand. Finally, it's very important that these offensive players are using crisp passes. The harder we throw the ball and the more crisp we are delivering passes to one another, the faster the ball will move and the more time we'll have to capitalize in this transition opportunity. We want to make sure we're making the defense work as hard as humanly possible to cover up skip lanes and to work back to stop transition. Here are some great examples of fast breaks from the drill. You can see the spacing of the offense coming down really makes the slides long. This is an awesome time for a hitch or a step up field for that low attack when to step around that defender rotating up. Again, long slides create bigger skip lanes and you can see that point attack and look through to the backside left-handed attack. Again, great spacing opens up a nice big skip lane from the point guy to the bottom left-handed side. Here we've hit the point a few times and you can see the skip thrown directly down to the bottom right player, which catches the defense rotating up prematurely before the flight of the ball. Here are a couple examples of early calls for lefties coming down in transition. Great read by the point man to get it back to the lefty going to his dominant hand. Here's another one that rings off the pipe from a lefty in transition. For a perfect rep in a fire situation offensively, the most important piece is that we want the midfielder coming down in transition to go right at that defender. In this case, it's a short stick on the slide. You want to dodge right at that belt buckle, allowing you to go to the left or right, down the alley or across the top, to put as much pressure as you can on the defense in transition. A lot of the time, they'll try and force you down the alley. In this situation, we would want to dodge down that alley after going right at the defender's belt buckle, and A3 on the left-handed wing would want to clear through to give us as much space down the alley as possible. A lot of the times, defensemen will come off that clear through, and we will then have a lot of different options, whether it's over the top to A1 or driving the ball through X to A2 to make the next read. But we're always dodging to score in transition to put as much pressure as we can on the defense. Here are some live examples of fire situations that are great reps for the offense. On the first clip, you'll see 13 really put the defender on an island before running down the alley. With no clear through, gives them a clear shot running down the right-handed alley. On this next rep, you see they elect to go with a down call, which means they pass down to the attackman and set a pick. The attackman rejects it, get it under, getting underneath. On this next rep, another fire situation where they really dodge downfield well and put the ball through X after the slide. This just gives you a great look at how this drill develops when a certain rep goes a little bit longer and you just get some great four-on-four -four play for your team. On the following rep, number three coming down, one of our better dodging midfielders really gets inside and puts his defender on an island, went into his left hand, getting a quick slide, resulting in an easy pass down to one of our best finishers at attack. We fumble the pass but end up getting it down. 
and the offense makes a great recognition to get the down call here for the left-handed attackman to come off the sweep off that down pick, getting to the middle of the field. We have another great repetition of a fire call getting right down the alley for a shot where the defense just hesitates to come off that clear through. Another rep of a strong right-handed midfielder getting down the alley and throwing the skip pass immediately over the top. And then the final clip is number three again, getting right at the midfielder and this time pulling up for a shot with his left hand. But he's got the entire cage to shoot at. This drill allows us to enforce some of our most important principles on the defensive side of the field. The first and most important is communication. We need our point defender to establish himself, echoing if it's a break or an even situation. He'll then quarterback the defense using either a rotate or a hold call. We rarely want our points sliding above 12 yards, any higher, and we're creating a very large gap for our recovery. Our low defenders are waiting for the call from the point and for the flight of the ball. We can't get caught taking false steps and opening up skip lanes. Our goal is to force as many passes as possible on the outside and force the lowest percentage shot. We'll do that with fast discipline rotations, using our sticks to cover up skip lanes and making sure that we're getting into the gloves of attackmen as they receive passes. When defending in odd number scenarios, we're always waiting for the flight of the ball to release our rotation. In this first clip, you'll notice all three defenders are working as if they're attached by a string. This allows them to cover up skip lanes with no wasted movement. This second rep, you'll see all three defenders using the length of their sticks to suffocate the offense. Our goal is to disrupt the shape of the offense and force them into rush passes. When our point holds and forces the ball back to the midfielder, our rotation will be reversed. We like this look because it takes the decision making away from the offense's quarterback at the point. No matter how spaced the attack is, we really want our defenders in this tight rotation. This shortens the amount of ground they have to cover when the ball hits the air and reinforces how important it is for us to use our sticks to take up space. Here we've got an excellent defensive breakdown at the bottom right attackman, taking away his free hands and forcing him to step away from pressure. Although we give up the goal, the close defense did their job by forcing enough passes to allow us to match up four on four. This last clip, we get an early call from the point attackman, allowing us to hold our spots defensively. Our bottom left defender does a great job of sitting in the skip lane to pick this pass off, rather than taking false steps upfield to the midfielder. Going against fire scenarios allows us to reinforce many of our six on six defensive principles with more space for the offense to attack the cage. It's important to us that we always take away the middle of the field from the ball carrier, which will simplify where our slide is coming from and force the offense into creating space down an alley. We'll establish a hot slide off of a ball side clear through, making sure that we get to the outside shoulder of that clear through to create a better sliding angle. Our backside defenders have to be great sharing two help responsibility, communicating recoveries once a slide is initiated, and rotating on the flight of the ball. As dodges and picks get tighter to the cage, we'll be a system first, matchup second defense. That means we'll switch picks inside 15 yards, stay pinched to the hub as adjacent defenders, and slide fast to support our on-ball defenders. It's very important to us that we take away the middle of the field in these four on four scenarios. This allows us to keep our hot slide uniform during the initial dodge. You'll see us switching most picks inside 15 yards during this drill. On picks this wide from the cage, our on ball defender has plenty of space to get under the screen and re-engage his matchup. Our short stick here does a great job of maintaining contact in the hip of this dodger, forcing him into a low percentage shot. In this rep, you'll see us establish a hot slide off of the near side clear through. Watch the footwork of our point defender. His positioning allows him to quarterback the defense by staying opened up to the ball in his man, 
helping inside is two, and directing recoveries. We want to switch this pick a second earlier, reinforcing that we're taking away the middle of the field. Watch our backside defenders hold their spots on the attack exchange, ready to help as adjacent defenders. This rep shows why this drill is so beneficial to our program. These extended four-on-four -four scenarios get both sides of the ball playing lacrosse with fewer bodies and more space. This forces us as a defense to remain disciplined to the hub, our version of the paint in basketball. This unit here does a great job of switching matchups and sliding fast to each other. This clip reinforces our principle that we're always waiting for the flight of the ball to initiate a rotation. We get a slide off of the crease, but our backside defender waits for the ball to hit the air before he leaves. No false steps puts him in a better position to make a play on the ball. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the drill and were able to take something valuable out of it during this time where we're all searching for ways to get better. You can follow us on GoRedFoxes.com.